The soldier's constant companion, of course, is his water bottle or canteen. And a Napoleonic Wars canteen uh, looks something like this. In fact, it looked pretty much exactly like this. And I'll show you one which isn't painted so you can see the construction more clearly. It's a properly coopered barrel uh, with uh, uh, iron bands made by staves, uh, with a flat section across there, two belt keepers just there. Of course, a little square for the stopper to go in and the stopper. Uh, these canteens were usually painted blue and were marked with uh, something that would denote both the soldier who owned the canteen so that when watering parties were off he could get it back and uh, perhaps the regiments. But the reason for this particular video is this string just here the one that attaches the stopper. When we were researching for our water bottle and final instructions for our Cooper, we could only find pictures of the, of the canteen, uh, not the canteen with uh, the stopper, and except in one case, with a, not with a string either. But we know that the, can the stoppers were secured by a string of some sort. But we did find one photograph of a, an original canteen which had string secured to both of the the belt keepers. It had been cut in the middle and the stopper had been removed, but then someone had tied the two pieces of string together. We didn't know what that meant, but it soon became clear. One thing we had noticed about our water bottles was that occasionally during the jostle of drill or skirmish that the stoppers were knocked out. Uh, either because the string caught on some equipment or, or they just took a hit there. Uh, this resulted in a wet trouser leg and some jocular comments from your associates. The attachment method that we saw appeared to be a stringer tied to the belt keeper there, uh, no stopper but presumably the string just went through the hole in the stopper and then tied to the belt keeper over here. So, what would be a possible reason for having a string tied through both, onto both keepers? Well, maybe it didn't disappear so much, the stopper didn't dangle off down here, but that doesn't seem to be a uh, very substantial reason. So, but what we did discover was, when you did that, just twisted the stopper, that the string becomes taut here and here and you can't get the stopper out. The string's now flat with the, the uh, water bottle's um, surface for most of its length and the stopper won't come out unless you twist it uh, back there. And since we've instituted this process in our canteens, no one's had, had a canteen stopper coming out whilst doing drill or skirmish. We don't know how many soldiers, if any, actually had their canteen stoppers secured like this, uh, but we suspect that there's probably a fair few. So there you go, a little slice of history brought to you by the 2nd 95th Australia.